Hello again. Beginning today, we're going to learn about different types of poetry. This is National Poetry Month, so I thought this would be a, a perfect time to begin learning. I brought some poetry books with me and I just wanted to show you a few of these. And I'll be posting some different resources after I post the video. This is a book with Emily Dickinson poems. And she's one of my favorite poets. There's some beautiful illustrations in this one. I want you to go look through your house and see if you can find some books that have poems in them. If you don't have poetry books, there are usually poems that are interspersed in your books. Also, you could go look at Epic, or you could go look on our school database. Charlotte Zolito, the Seashore book. This is one of my favorites, and she uses a lot of figurative language and poetry in hers. And I love the illustrations by Wendell Minor. Robert Louis Stevenson, he's a poet. And then this is a treasury of 572 poems. And they're selected by Zach, Jack, excuse me, Polutsky. I love his poetry too. A lot of you looked at this one in class. nature book of poetry. It's fun to write about nature and that's something we're going to write about today when we write our poem. A lot of you looked at this one in class. This was Mrs. Cole on an onion roll and other school poems. It's fun to write about school and make them funny. And then this is a Jack Polutsky book and he has several poetry books. He's just he's very funny creative and I like how he sometimes he writes his poems around the page like this makes them look interesting a child's treasury of seaside verse it's also really interesting to write poems about the sea the sea is a very calming place you the, the smells in the air all of the senses what you see, what you touch, what you hear, what you can taste. A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein. He is a very creative poet. I've always been interested in his poems. So the first type of Poem we're going to learn about is a haiku and we wrote some last fall but I want us to begin again a review and write one again today so last night I wrote two and I want to share those with you and then we're going to brainstorm together so what is a haiku it's a short form of Japanese poetry, and you write it in three lines with five, seven, five, with that pattern. Five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second, five syllables in the third line. And what's a syllable? A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel sound. So five, seven, five. I first wrote one about Sally. So Sally likes to play. That has five syllables. It goes Sally likes to play five syllables. 
second line, the tennis ball is the best. The tennis ball is the best. So let's see if that's seven. One, two, three, tennis ball, four, is the best. Seven syllables. So the last line, jumping up and down. That should be five syllables. Jumping up and down. So let's count. Jump. This is a haiku about Sally, and then we can add a period at the end. I did capitalize the first word in each sentence. Sally likes to play. The tennis ball is the best, jumping up and down. So she loves playing with her tennis ball, and she's always jumping up and down. So this describes Sally. Let me write another one. I'm going to start over a bit further so I can get everything in here. So I'm going to write one about myself. And it's always fun to write a haiku about yourself, describing yourself, but that's something you can do later if you want to. You can write a whole page of haikus and then illustrate them. Or you could write a book, a poetry book, and you could have haikus first, and then whatever we learn about tomorrow on the next page, you could just be creative, illustrate it, then publish it. So our first line has five syllables. Miss Black loves to teach. Miss Black loves to teach. I'm going to see if it's five syllables. One, two, three, four, five. It is. And the second line is seven syllables. Her students every day. Her students every day. So one, Two, three, four, five. Oh, I counted the word instead of the syllables. Every day. Mm-hmm. Day. And the last line is five. Learning brings much joy. So let's count. Learning brings much joy. That's five syllables. So my haiku poem is Miss Black loves to teach her students every day. Learning brings much joy. And that is true. Now I want us to brainstorm a poem about a season. A lot of people when they're writing haikus, they make it about nature. And so, I mean, you could make it about um, trees, leaves, anything outside, the woods, or you can make it about a season that you like. Fall is my favorite season. I just like the cool, crisp air. 
I like the sights and the smells. I like going to the pumpkin patch. I like all of those things. So I'm going to write one about fall, but let's brainstorm for a minute and write down some words that remind us of fall. Let's brainstorm. So we have leaves, Crisp air, pumpkins, also some people like to drink pumpkin spice lattes, it's coffee, I think a couple of you mentioned that to me last fall. See what else? What do you think? Think of maybe taking walks in the in the woods, going on walks, cool walks. Okay. Well that gave us some words to brainstorm with. So let me think. Remember our first line is going to have five syllables. So let's start with that. I'm going to erase this. You can leave that on your paper. You can add to it. I'm going to change markers. So I really like the, the sound of leaves being crunched. So I'm going to make my first line something about leaves. Now, um, the title of my poem can be Fall. Normally, if you're just writing the name of a season, you're not going to capitalize it. It's going to be lowercase. But since this is a title, I'm going to capitalize it. So the first line, five, let's see. Crunching over leaves. I like that, so I think I'm gonna use that for my first line. Crunching over leaves. One, two, three, four, over, it's a tiger word, leaves, five. Very good. All right, the second line needs to have seven syllables, so let me look. I have typed out some brainstorming ideas on my computer, too. So I really like the crisp air. I like to hear it blowing, I like to feel it blowing, all of those, those senses. And a lot of times in the fall, if I open my mouth and I, I taste something, I don't know why, but, but I always taste like crispy premium crackers to me, like I'm eating a cracker with a piece of cheese. And I think that goes back to when I was young. I used to like to eat those square crackers. And so that's the taste that think about during the fall. And so, um, let's see, the crisp air blows through the trees. That's seven, that's what I wanna use. The crisp air blows through, I don't have enough room, the trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven syllables. Okay, so the last one. So I have something about the crunching leaves, or the crunchy leaves, and the crisp air. Let me see. I might want to put something about fall. So fall, to me, brings me joy. So fall season of joy, fall, season of joy, okay? So that's five, fall, comma, season.
person of joy. One, two, three, four, five. So there is my haiku about a season. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, I'd like for you to go and write one. You could write several, and then if you wanted to, you could make a book of haikus, or you could just start a poetry book, and you could start with the first chapter being haikus, or the first page, or you could just write one haiku, and then write, add to it one type of poetry that we're gonna learn about for this week on the other pages. It's up to you. Something else you might wanna do is this. Get a piece of paper and draw a tree. And make it your poet tree. And write down the different types of poetry that we learn about this week. So you could even draw a little leaf. And the first one is haiku. And you could add to it. Have a great day, and I'll talk with you soon.